Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and in this video I'm going to talk about uh, mini satellites, micro satellites and STR markers, uh, what's the difference and imagine uh, that we have a sequence as follows uh, C T A C T A C T A C T A a and C, T, A. I hope you notice that uh, we just have repetition of the same trinucleotide over and over and over and over again. In this example we have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 repetitions. And um, usually uh, such sequences that we call um, microsatellite. By the way, this is example of the microsatellite. And at the same time, I want to tell you that microsatellite and STR markers just synonyms and means the same thing. And uh, in this example, we see that this um, repetitive sequence repeat five times. But in other cases, it might repeat 10 times or 15 times. And uh, we are talking here for specific locus. Uh, let's say that here we have chromosome. And somewhere here we have certain gene. And in this certain gene, let's say is going to be double-stranded DNA that represents this gene, we would have sequences that is going to be non-coding sequences, which we call introns, and we would have sequences that is going to be coding, which we call exons. And by the way, I draw this gene out of proportion because normally uh, this intron that uh, is non-coding sequence uh, in a gene uh, represented uh, much more uh, represent majority of the sequence. That's why our genome is 98% non-coding sequence even within a gene majority of the gene sequence is non-coding sequence. And now think about uh, where mutations usually happen, whether within coding sequence or non-coding sequence. And of course uh, it is obvious that mutations much more frequently happens in non-coding sequence because uh, mutations here usually doesn't change protein. Those, uh, sometimes here we also can find regulatory uh, sequence, but uh, mutations within exon usually leads to the changes in protein sequence, which can affect our health. And uh, such changes in 99.99% uh, would, wouldn't be beneficial for our health, but majority of the mutations usually um, lowers our fitness. So, as you see, majority of the uh, changes uh, to our DNA would happen in non-coding sequence. In 1980s, British scientist Alec Jeffries have found uh, such um, sequences uh, here in non-coding uh, DNA that is highly repetitive. But at that time he have found sequence that consisted not of three nucleotides or four nucleotides, but uh, those sequences, repetitive sequences, consisted of uh, 16, so 16 nucleotides. So for example A, T, C, G, T, A, C, G, G, A, a, so how many 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 5 more. A, A, T, T, C. So now uh, this represent one repetitive unit. Now let's say that this unit would repeat 20 times. So we have to multiply 20 by 16. And the length of such unit would be 320 nucleotides. And let's uh, compare with this, uh, say, also locus, which also has repetitive units that consist of only three nucleotides. And also we may have different uh, variants, in particular uh, locus, and the range can be between 2 repeats and 20 repeats. But this time let's multiply 20 by 3. And we are going to get 60. So 60 nucleotides. And 320 uh, nucleotides in the previous example. And as you know, uh, this str Markers uh, are used in um, investigations. Say, uh, probably you know that FBI has a DNA fingerprints uh, database of the uh, convicts. And uh, if we would use, as in 1980s and 1990s, um, such uh, loci that have uh, such large fragments where uh, repetitive unit can repeat, uh, say, 20 times, we would have a fragment that is much bigger. But nowadays we use a small uh, repetitive units, usually three nucleotides or four nucleotides, uh, which is much smaller. And of course, if we multiply three nucleotide unit, uh, say, 10 times, we even would get a fragment that is just 30 nucleotide long. So what's the significance of it? Uh, usually when scientists work with um, uh, highly degraded DNA, uh, it is much more convenient to use uh, the smaller fragments of the DNA because uh, there is least chances that uh, you would have uh, some uh, degradation in smaller fragments of the DNA than in long fragments of the DNA. So they would get a better results from the fingerprinting. So when we have a small fragments that repeats, like uh, in this example, we call this microsatellite unit or a star marker. So we usually call uh, such markers that have repeat between two and eight nucleotides. But if we have uh, repeat between nine and say 20, it can be even bigger. Uh, we call such markers as mini satellite, not microsatellite, but mini satellite and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video goodbye